I'm Rachel Marley Corral for the Community School of the Arts, and this is part two of our William Shakespeare gingerbread tutorial. Last time in part one, I showed you how to make your very own gingerbread dough from scratch and bake the cookies. Now it's time for the best part, in my opinion, which is to decorate them. Now, if you've ever decorated gingerbread cookies before, chances are they looked something like this little guy. You can't catch me, I'm a gingerbread man. But today, our cookies are actually going to look like none other than the bard himself, William Shakespeare. Let's grab some of our cookies we prepared last time and I'll show you step by step what you need to do. Now, for the icing, I want to make a quick note that it's normal to use royal icing, which is really easy to make yourself when decorating these kind of cookies. Um, they're mostly made with egg whites and powdered sugar and a few other things. However, not everyone feels confident making royal icing or has pastry bags on hand for decorating. So to make this the most accessible kind of project possible, I am using the same kind of ingredient um, types of icing that you can get at the grocery store. So I got these at our local Meyer, actually. I'm sure they have them at other stores as well. And they were even on sale, but you get one free, just saying. So I got three different colors. I have blue, white, and brown, which is actually technically chocolate flavored, yay. And there were lots of other colors available too. I just felt like I only really needed three for the effect I was going for. If you want more, go for it. You can also decorate with sprinkles, edible glitter, or any other fun things you have laying around in the pantry or that you did on your shopping trip to get your supplies. And like I mentioned last time, we are also going to make some ginger ladies in Elizabethan dress because it just seems more awesome <laughs> if there's girls too. We gotta represent Queen Elizabeth, right? I think I'm gonna start with the blue and get the clothing. Part of what helps make a difference in the shape of the gingerbread for this is if you look on our William Shakespeare cookie, instead of treating the ends of the hands like the hands as you normally would, you actually create it like it's his elbow and then you give him little hands over here on his waist, which kind of changes the overall shape of the cookie. And then you give him these tiny little cute feet. And I even seen them done where they have like, uh, like a square piece of glitter or something to signify little buckle shoes, which would have been really time period appropriate. So that kind of helps change the shape of the cookie. And of course, the little mustache, you gotta have that. So we're gonna start with this clothes and then we will move on to some of the other elements of the cookie. I 
be careful because he's still pretty wet. You can see where I started. It's already getting a little bit more dry, which is a little less glossy. That's how you can tell. And after a little while, it'll set up enough that I could actually stack with cookies without it getting smeared. Now is not that time though. So we're gonna scoot Bill over. He can hang out with our other cookies. And let's grab one of the ladies because like I said, Queen Elizabeth style needs represented here too. I got, no joke, exactly, exactly 30 cookies out of this recipe without a single scrap of dough left over. Oh, I want to have pretty clothes. Oh. Don't worry, we got you covered. There she is, our Shakespearean lady. She looks really excited. Now, obviously you can really play with the clothes and do them however you want. Um, you could do, again, other characters like maybe Hamlet or some of the other famous characters from Shakespeare. To be or not to be, that is the question. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. I love you, I love you. Get thee to a nunnery. But I love you. Get thee to a nunnery. Rude. And there you have it. You just made your very own William Shakespeare gingerbread cookies. We would love to see your very own cookie creation. So if you want to hop onto Facebook or Instagram, tag us at Marion Community School of the Arts and show us your art. Thanks for watching this tutorial and we hope that you have the happiest of holiday seasons. <laughs>